Welcome to Las Vegas and welcome to Las Vegas bus sales. We are now at a company outside of the city center and they are focusing on selling buses and coaching for the American market. Hello, my name is John Van Blericum, AKA Johnny Ringo on our videos. This is Las Vegas Bus Sales. We sell uh, new and used buses. You probably see some right behind me. Mainly the used highway coach market is something that we, we focus on in addition to shuttles. 24 passengers on like an E450 chassis is something that we are very popular at moving. Here recently, the schooling market has been become pretty popular with us. It's a small segment of our business, but we really have a lot of fun with it. The conversion bus folks, we do uh, school buses, shuttles. We've seen everybody converting from the, even these highway coaches. We did a couple of those last year. We sold them to customers that did those. Our customer base here at Las Vegas Bus Sales, it is pretty broad. Mainly we focus on the transportation industry. That's a good portion of our business, but we see all industries, you know, whether it's manufacturing, farming, mining, um, you name it. If you're looking to move teams of people, we have the equipment to do that. Small capacity, 14 passenger, 9 passenger, up to 56, 59, like these highway coaches here behind me. We've become very familiar with all types of needs for moving people in different environments, shipped buses as far as Africa. As far as the brands we carry here at Las Vegas Bus Sales, I would say Prevo, Volvo, Van Hool are probably as far as the large highway coaches we have. We find that uh, people always ask what's most popular. It really moves across uh, preference by the customer. You know, some people have, they're more loyal to Volvo, MCI, brands like this. The smaller shuttle market, E450s, we do everything from Eldorado, Starcraft, if you're looking to move, you know, 24, 25 passengers, we've got that too. The school bus segment's been really unique. That's where we see a lot of the customers, a pretty diverse audience that's looking for those types of buses, from the conversions to farms, movie studios. We've, we've sold school buses to all types of industry in that market. If I was to rattle off a list of brands that we have, if you start from the smallest buses, I would say, you know, minibus, Bluebird, MFSAB buses, then you move up into the E450 chassis, and those are more of your typical airport shuttles. Um, Starcraft, Eldorado, Goshen, Turtle Top. Moving up from there, we would go into, say, the school bus scene, Bluebird, Thomas. Bluebird and Thomas are probably the most popular ones that we see through here. Large highway coaches, I would say MCI, Prevo, Van Hool, and then Volvo, probably in that order is what we, uh, as far as the demand we see in our market. As far as bus conversions go, everybody that we see come in here into our lot, it is a really diverse crowd. You have the individual who doesn't know much about what they're doing. We try to help them as much as we can, refer them to some forums or whatnot. I would say we're, we're not, we're experts in the transportation industry as far as the bus conversion industry. We learn from our customers. You know, we try to get out there in the forums and read what they're all doing and everything else, but everybody's trying to do something so different that we're always learning something new from the bus conversion folks. As far as the audience goes, it's everyone from the kid who just got out of school to the couple who's looking to retire. I just had a wife and a husband here on the lot the other day that was looking to, uh, to buy a smaller bus to convert. And the reason they were buying this, let me get into that, some of the questions they had for me was durability. You know, a school bus is, you know, it's steel and metal as opposed to fiberglass and, and balsa wood or whatever they're putting into RVs these days. A lot sturdier foundation to put everything in there you want if you want to work with hardwood and tile and those types of things. It's just a bus is a really solid foundation to put that kind of material in. It works really well. I've had everyone from a gentleman who wanted to live in the school bus in Alaska and work in the fish canneries to couples that wanted to 
make it fancy and park it next to their house and take it out once a month to the desert and uh, barbecue chicken. You know, that's, it's, it's really a diverse group of people. Um, some people have really basic needs, looking to just put a mattress and a toilet inside the bus and travel the world, which they're more looking at the adventure of seeing things on the road rather than actually living in the bus to folks who have done solid wood countertops, tile floor, and uh, stainless steel appliances. We're not a used car lot. We're selling equipment that meets people's needs, and that's our purpose. It's not to push some product on somebody that doesn't need it. I've told people that if they're looking for a specific type of school bus, they need a certain headroom and width or length, they're, or they're not used to driving such a large vehicle. Some of these school buses are pretty large. I'll always recommend them to move down to a smaller size, something they can navigate traffic a little safer than trying to put them in some uh, bus they're not accustomed to navigating. Here at Las Vegas Bus Sales, one thing we do have going on, we have a service department where our techs are over here and they work on the buses, making any repairs, and we have a detail department. We have a real simple procedure when someone buys a bus, but something we pride ourselves on is that we will accommodate the customer's needs. We'll have customers come in and they want to buy buses as is, or we'll have customers that want to come in here and they'll have special needs for their bus. They want to have four buses ready for operation next month and that's what we can do over here. We'll have our guys go through there and if they have any special requirements, they want any type of service work or whatnot, we can put that in the deal and we take care of the customer and have them ready to go for them. This is not to service outside customers. We're not a service company. This is to service our customers who buy the buses from us. This location here has been here for over 12 years. We have a location just south of Seattle and Federal Way. That was our uh, first location that the owner uh, established and then they expanded to Las Vegas, which has been a great market. This market here is uh, more tailored to the highway coach, the bigger bus market. We tend to see a lot more customers up in the North Pacific Northwest who are looking for the smaller cutaways and the shuttles. We have uh, 16 employees working here. We've got a handful of techs here and about as many in the detail department. Detail department does more than clean over there. They're the guys that will address the small issues like if there's any plastic trim in the bus or whatnot that needs to be repaired. They'll take care of that for us and they're used to sealing up the bus. You can imagine the, as they, they assemble these in, in fiberglass pieces, the shuttles, over time they can shift and, and tend to leak in the rain or whatnot and um, they try to spot for that kind of stuff and help repair that for the customer. If they're a, op a large operator and they're already running coaches, they know what they want. They come in here and they tell you. But there's a lot of smaller operators that are trying to grow and they're not sure what to get into. And they're operating, say, just a small, you know, cutaway shuttle, E450 or something like that, 28 passengers, and they want to they want to go up to like 31, 32. A lot of them they, they see in their mind the growth of their little transportation company is to hop into something like this. And I always kind of steer them away from it. Unless they're really prepared, I say go to a Freightliner. You can do something like this. It's 36 passengers. It's powered by 6.7 Cummins. Very common engine. A lot of mechanics out there work on this. As far as the operator expense, it's not going to bear as much as this. You know, you can imagine you're a small operator and you're going to take that next step and you want to move up to a highway coach. You're taking a lot of risk, you know, because a new one can break just as easily as a used one. Finding drivers that aren't going to beat up your highway coach are harder to find than a Freightliner. Freightliner is still difficult to drive, but not nearly as a highway coach. So we see uh, in this market, okay, you find a lot of older bus guys that I see that, you know, they have their preference of what they want. It tends to see, at least my experience has been like a lot of older guys back east, they always talk about MCI, MCI, I want that. West Coast, California, I've seen some older bus companies, they're always talking Prevo. Across the board, I think Van Hool is pretty popular across the US. My opinion, Van Hool is probably one of the most reliable operating buses, and everybody's got their reasons why they want one over the other. We have, as far as you know, our customer base, None of it's the same. A lot of our inventory 
It's, uh, you can put it into categories, obviously transit buses, coach buses, smaller cutaways, E450 chassis, everyone, somebody wants an F550 chassis on those smaller shuttles. But we also have these transit buses. We get some of these that come through here and we clean them up and get them ready for the customer. We find that we always sell these a lot, typically in groups and it's always a specific need that some customer wants. And again, with that, our service department, they tend to end up doing some service work on these to get them ready for that customer and their needs and put them in operation. So here's a comparison between what I was talking about earlier, a commercial bus and a school bus. These are actually great buses. They just, this is what the desert does do to paint. It'll fade them. This is a school bus commercial bus. This is a front engine right here. Typically on the model it will have an FE in the brand or in the model name. And uh, these buses typically are 87 inches wide on the interior. Commercial bus 93 inches. Higher ceiling up to 6.6 on the, on the height and 6.4, 6 foot on the school buses. Of course they're made for smaller people and these are made for adults. Powered by 6.7 Cummins powered by an 8.3 Cummins. Pull the house down with the commercial bus, take the kids to school on the school bus. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video here today. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel and see all the future videos here on Bus Magazine. So have a great day. We'll see you next time. Until then, drive safe.